This is Kay. And this is T. And we're unboxing the September Moon Festival Folksy box. It's in a special edition black box this month. They usually come into an orange box if you haven't tried the boksu yet. It's a box of Japanese snacks and usually comes with a tea so you can try their cultural cuisine. And in, uh, sorry in advance if we butcher some of the names as we read off what the snacks are. We're not fluent in Japanese, but we're going to give it our best try. Okay, so we're going to start through the list. They give you a neat little pamphlet that tells you a little bit about each one. Which is probably the most exciting part about this product, is it gives you a little history and background about everything you're going to be trying. So the chocolate azuki beans, which are right here, is what we're going to try first. It is a sweet, and it's made using a manato, which is a sugar syrup, and... It has a modern twist by coating the beans with white chocolate and then finishing them with black sesame and roasted soybean powder. So it gives it a nutty peanut buttery taste. So mm, that's pretty good. There you go. It has a really strong peanut butter taste at the end. That after flavor is really powerful. Yes. Oh, really it, good. It's sweet and soft, and if you like peanut butter, you'll like this. So the next one is the mochi. It's a chewy mochi. What's it called? The mitarash, mitarashi, mitarashi mochi. And like I said, if I butcher the name, we're very sorry. So it's a mochi that is grilled on a skewer and has a sweet soy sauce glaze in the middle. And it's a popular street food throughout Japan, especially around the holidays. Hmm. What do you think about it? That's pretty good. It is pretty good. I... Is it, uh, it's very sweet. Can't say I've ever had sweet soy sauce, but that is a really good flavor that it has with it. Mm -hmm. Next is our scone barbecue flavor. It is a savory snack instead of a sweet. It is barbecue flavor on this corn snack is delightfully saucy and perfect pairing for enjoying the moon festival. Ooh. Got a strong flavor in before you open up the bag. There you go. Thank you. Mmm. I definitely get the barbecue. Yeah, that was really good. A kind of reminds me of a barbecue chip, mm -hmm. but it's more airy. I like it. They're really good. That is definitely a keeper. We'll eat those later. <laughs> Next is the Usagi chocolate ball. And I hope I'm not butchering that, but Usagi means rabbit. And in the Moon Festival, it centers around the rabbit. Hmm. So those are these well, little bitty... Cute rabbits here. They are really cute. Look at that. And there are many chocolates with a sugary outer shell and a rich cocoa center. Mm. That's really good. It's very really sweet. Got a nice chocolate flavor. Very crunchy. Very <laughs> crunchy. Kind of hard to get out of the bag too, but that doesn't make it. That doesn't make it bad. Mm -mm, not at all. It's very good. So we have another savory. I'm really excited about this one because this is a popular Japanese figure, the egg. It is. Uritama Golden Pack, the Tamago Kake Gohan flavor. 
and it is a puff stick which features hot rice soy sauce and a raw egg flavoring with a subtle note of seaweed sesame and sugar so so it kind of reminds me of the traditional Japanese breakfast where they just put a raw egg on top of a bowl of rice from the description we're gonna have to take turns with this one <laughs> The texture is a lot like a corn uh, puff. Yeah, like a Cheeto puff. But it has much more flavor to it. Really good. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor to it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Okay. You can go ahead and start on the next thing. Okay. So, the rich baked chocolate, that's sweet, obviously. And it's a rich dark chocolate cake is absolutely decadent thanks to the use of coveture chocolate, which contains a higher percentage of cocoa butter than the standard chocolate used in baking. So, let's try this. There we go. <laughs> Packaging could be a little tough to get on out. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't have a snap to it. It just it was a nice little, nice fluffy. Now there's a deep chocolate. Mmm. Very rich, very soft. It is a dark chocolate, but it is really good. Excuse me, that one I had to kind of wash down. <laughs> So the next is the OFU. The Fukari uh, Shichimi. Sh Shichimi. Which is a baked assortment of smoked crackers and peanuts with uh, seven spice seasoning on it. That's got some spice to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's got a good spice to it. Wow. <laughs> I do not handle spice well. I like it. It just doesn't like me back. It has a little kick to it. Mm. It's definitely good. You have two, good. two textures in there. You have the crunch of the peanut and like a corn puff texture in there. Mm. Next Ow. is the cheesecake that comes with it. And it is the Hakata Mitsuki Delicious Cheese. And that's that's English and I don't even know what that word is. Financier, I think that's French. Oh. Well, like I said, if we butcher the names, we're really sorry. So, because of the moon festival, it's shaped in a crescent moon. Let's give it a try. Yep. I'm excited. That's real soft. Yep, they are. They're really soft. Now, this adorable crescent-shaped cake is named for the beautiful moon over Hakat. Hokkaido, a neighbor, a neighborhood in whew, Fukuoka. It was a delicious texture with a golden buttery outside, and it is really, really, it's very buttery and very delicious. So, if you get the Boksu box, it says Discover Japan through snacks. It actually tells you where each snack came from in Japan. So the next thing I'm not usually a fan of, but I'm going to try, is 
the soybean tea. So you take a cup of water that's usually hot and you pour them in and it makes tea from these soybeans and if you like soybeans you can eat it later <laughs> once you drink the tea. We'll try this out. So does it take a little while for it to brew or is it? Usually just pour them in and stir it. Oh okay. It has a slight nutty flavor to it. It usually goes with the moon festival and it's um, soybean. It's entirely soybean. It's not bad. I'm not a big fan of soybean tea anyways. But there's another tea that comes with it as well. The organic drip tea, full moon tea, which we have here I already set up because it has to set for a minute. It is fresh full green tea leaves, clean and simple in flavor, and it is a green tea, so we'll just shake that out. It gives you um, directions on how to make this tea. i throw you off a little bit. <laughs> so it's a little strong, but it's a good tea. Yeah, it's not bad. It is very strong. It has a really strong, very caffeinated. But I like it. Okay. Unless it comes from someone who doesn't really care for tea. So then we have another sweet. Another cheese type cake made with flour, rice powder, and buckwheat. But instead of the traditional red bean filling, this one is filled with white bean and cheese. And it's got a smiley face on it. It, it has a little cute smiley face. That's awesome. Oh. Split this in half. Oh no, smiley face has been torn up. I'm sorry, Gingy. I think it's pretty good. The cheese flavor is subtle. It's not very strong. No, and that's what I was afraid of as being a strong, heavy cheese flavor, but it's not bad. I prefer this over a bear claw any day. <laughs> so the next thing is um, rice crackers are very popular and they usually come in most of the boxes and we usually love the rice crackers. These are a black pepper flavored one. And it's made, it's inspired by the flavorful clear soup consomme. It is made from bouillon. It has a powerful peppery taste. Mm, I'm sorry. Oh, um, it says, we'll give your tongue just a little heat and maybe a kick in the pants. So, maybe just try one if you can't do the spice. It's not that bad, actually. Like, whoa, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's got a little spice to it. Huh. It, oh, it doesn't hit you till a little later after you're done chewing. I'm going to try another one just to make sure I'm right. Y'all? Yeah. It has a real black peppery taste to it. It feels like you're just sprinkling a little black pepper on your tongue. Not necessarily a bad thing. It's very delicious. It's just got a nice little kick and aftertaste. Our next thing we're doing is the mochi puffs. So instead of the chewy mochi, these are air puff ones. They're usually pretty good. They melt in the mouth. This one, in particular, is a Kanako flavored, which is brown sugar, a hint of chocolate, and roasted soybean. And it is usually a pretty nice sweet flavor. I'm 
smells good. Yeah, it's definitely good. You can definitely taste the uh, brown sugar in it. Down to the last three things. Yep. So the black sesame taiko with the little bear on it. Cute, cute little bear. It is made with fragrant roasted almonds, black sesame, and mizuami. It has a crunchy texture and sweet. It looks like, kind of looks like a, a coaster. <laughs> to me it looks a little like, oh it's got a nice little. Nice little crunch to it. Nice little snap. Oh. Is this supposed to be sweet? Mm-hmm. It is pretty good. Hmm. It's nice and nutty. Hmm. That's definitely a good one. What are you talking about that one? I thought it was very nutty. I wouldn't classify that one as a sweet, but it was good. It has a, a subtle sweet flavor. I don't know. I can't really tell you what I would compare it to. Okay, so the other rice crackers that we have are these. And they have flavors of dried plum and skipjack tuna. And it's more of a softer type rice cracker instead of the typical crunchy ones. This bagging is kind of really interesting. I don't like packaging. I don't think bagging is the proper word. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. That is an interesting texture. It kind of reminds me of Bonito Flakes. It is a blast of flavor and it is really good. Ooh, mommy. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper right there too. Mm -hmm. It does have a softer, not crisp texture. It is really good. Okay. So... Our other rice cracker is a honey soy sauce flavor made with black sesame and brown rice baked into it. It has a unique earthy flavor. And that's our last snack. I'll let you have the big one this time. So overall, what did you think? I think it's a good box, definitely. The Moon Festival box is pretty good. Well, that was our September Moon Festival Boksu box. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We plan on doing many more of these. And if there's anything else you would like to see us to try, uh, the future of this channel is undetermined yet, but we're going to keep it food and snack related. We hope you enjoyed our unboxing. And you have a good day. Thank you. I have to get up and turn it off though.